In this lesson, I'll show you how to write the group number, the period, and valence electron configuration for elements found on the periodic table. We'll start off with calcium, where in question one they ask us the following three things. Let's first locate where calcium is on the periodic table. As you can see, calcium is the 20th element on the periodic table. This means that it has 20 protons and 20 electrons. Now it's important that we have an understanding of what period and group is. A period is a horizontal row of the periodic table. There are seven periods in the periodic table, as you can see, labeled one through seven. A new period begins when a new principal energy level starts filling up with electrons. The valence shell configuration is shown in the periodic table underneath. Calcium has a valence shell configuration of 4s2, and to really understand where this number is coming from, you need to know how to write the electron configuration for an element. We won't be doing that in this video, so I recommend that you watch one of our previous videos where I show you how to identify the valence electrons, the core electrons, and that's done by writing out the electron configuration. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just use the information here. A group is a vertical column of the periodic table, and it's based on the organization of the outer shell electrons. There are a total of 18, and as you can see in this periodic table, they're labeled 1, 2, 3, all the way to 18, but you also have 1a, 2a, 3a, 4a, all the way to 8a. That's just the American way of representing the groups. So for calcium, it has a period of 4. It is found in the second group. So we can write down 2a or simply 2. And all of these metals found in this group, including calcium, are referred to as alkaline earth metals. That's their family name. Also, I'll write down that the valence shell configuration is 4s2. Let me show you iodine and lead. Iodine is found right here. It happens to be a halogen, which is the family name for all group 17 elements. So iodine is group 17, 7a17. Its valence shell configuration, as you can see here, is 5s2, 5p2, and it's found in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th period. And for lead, lead is pb. It's found right here. It's the 82nd. So pb, that's the 6th period. The valence shell configuration is 6s2. 6p2, and the group is right here. So it's group 14, and in the American notation, we write down 4a14. The family name for all elements found in group 14 uh, are called carbons. Let's move on to question two. What are the group numbers and periods and the valence electron configuration for sulfur and strontium? So let's continue this. I'll write down sulfur right here. Starting with the period, it's found in the third period, 16th group, and its electron configuration is 3s2, 3p4. And for strontium, which has the chemical symbol of SR, it's found right here, it's the 38th, also an alkaline earth metal. Its period is 5, its electron configuration is 5s2, and given that it's an alkaline earth metal, its group is 2. And one more thing, I didn't mention that sulfur, given that it's in group 16, is called a chalcogen. So any element found in group 16 is called... And there you have it. Cal that is how to use the periodic table to identify the group, period, and valence electron configuration.